So the other day, Scott, you told me this bizarre analogy. You said that software is like bricks, but machine learning is like eggs. Oh, come on, Dale, isn't that obvious? Like bricks and eggs? You're gonna need to explain that one to me. All right, all right. So let's say you're an enterprise and you're building like a, a really smart data platform. And one of your decisions is a database. So you do a price comparison, look at the vendors and your team decides this is the database we're gonna use. So you buy it, it's kind of like buying a brick. So you install a brick and that brick stays around for a while. It doesn't change much. It's a brick, it's great. But AI is a little more like eggs. So an egg is like, who are the egg vendors? And you go talk to them all, then your team goes, oh, these are the best eggs ever. So you buy the eggs. But then if you're using them in the enterprise, you kind of got to watch them. Because unlike a brick, like a database, eggs can go bad on you. So that's the difference. So haven't you seen that, Dale, in your work with AI? Uh, yeah, I've seen machine learning models like eggs go stale. Um, like, for example, the, the thing that comes to mind is during coronavirus, the state of the world totally changed and threw off lots of people's models. Like, um, imagine you're a supermarket and you have your model to stock eggs and cereal and toilet paper. And then all of a sudden, boom, like there's an unprecedented run on toilet paper and everything that your model's thought they knew about the world, it's no longer relevant. You know, Dale, that's the perfect example, right? So what happened here is that coronavirus, like who could have predicted that? I mean, a couple of people did, but who's going to predict that? And so what, how do you fix that is that you use this thing called continuous monitoring. So what you do is you build your AI and you deploy it, but then you watch very carefully the data going into your AI models. And in this case, we look at this, the grocery store, the shopping place, and we'd say, hey, we're seeing something weird here. We're seeing some stores selling a lot more toilet paper a lot faster. And that was never the case when we trained the AI. So chances are that particular egg, that baby's going bad. So, you know, that's just one example of that, Dale. Yeah, absolutely. Continuous monitoring is machine learning best practice that you can have confidence that your model is doing what you expect it to. And if you want to know how to do it on Google Cloud, make sure you check the link in the description. So Dale, if we follow the link in the description, is that how you're going to keep all your eggs nice and tasty and fresh? Absolutely. Well, thanks, Dale. It's great talking today about model drift. Have a great day. See ya.